Hey, in this video I'm going to explain why MicroThem is the best CSS editor for both page speed and code maintainability. In short, it's because MicroThem automatically organizes your code. So you can just focus on the job of styling your site without devoting a ton of brain power to structuring your code or shaving off milliseconds from your site's page speed. MicroThem implements Google's recommendation of inlining critical CSS and deferring non-critical CSS right out of the box with zero configuration. And on top of that, it organizes your CSS selectors so they neatly match the order of HTML elements on the page. So let's look at a quick example. Uh, the first thing to point out is that this functionality only applies if you've got this auto folder checkbox enabled at the bottom left. So you can easily opt out of this if you want to organize your own CSS code without any help from MicroThema. The global or page switch allows you to choose whether you want your CSS to be added to a page specific folder and that's the default when you first install MicroThema or if you want to switch to applying styles globally you can just use this option here and then choose which global folder you want to add new styles to. We're going to just keep it on page for now and if I just say select this heading here and then I'm going to choose to target this based on the fact that it's a heading 5 not class and then if I give it say a different color uh, then MicroThema will save my selector and you can see it's been added to a folder called home which is the name of this page and the folder icon unlike the global folders that MicroThema generates automatically uh, it looks slightly different it's not filled it just has an outline and that tells us that this is a folder that targets a specific page or set of pages rather than applying globally if I then create another selector for say this image here and I'm going to go to the border options and just change the border radius a little bit for some of these and then so that what's happened is microthema has created a selector for us again uh, in this folder for this page and it's created it above the heading uh, 5 selector that we created before uh, because the image comes before the heading 5 on the page so that's what i meant about the uh, organizing selectors so that they match the order of elements on the page and that just makes it a lot easier when you come back to edit your selectors you can see that they're all in an order that automatically makes sense when you're looking at elements on the page and just to give you another example of that i will select this paragraph here and choose the option to just select it as, as a paragraph not using the class and you can see that microthema is or automatically put it here uh, i'll just save that here you can save selectors using the button or just by applying a new style i'll go ahead and set some kind of uh, font uh, font style so that it's not an empty selector. So by default MicroThema creates CSS uh, that's for critical CSS so that's the reason we would call this um, CSS critical is because it's styling content that's going to display above the fold when the page first loads. Now above the fold basically means any content that's visible when the, on, on screen when the page first loads. Now that depends on the screen size, of course. Um, MicroThema takes conservative approach by um, inlining styles for any content that appears uh, in the first 1440 pixels, um, so measuring from the top of the page right down, um, and then it will defer the CSS for content further down. So for instance, all this will still be inlined CSS, but then say if we create a selector for this heading down here, you can see that MicroThema has created a fold called Home, and below the fold, this heading uh, and I'll just I know, change the color of this to red as well and now we have some CSS code that loads in two different folders the home folder and the home below fold folder and that means it will be loaded separately so the home folder styles these three selectors here will load uh, as an inline style tag and this will load as a, an external style sheet that loads asynchronously so that means this one the CSS in here does not uh, block the loading of other resources on the page so it doesn't hinder the page loading speed in any way. So uh, to show you how this uh, looks in the Microsoft interface because it's all customizable so Microsoft gen generated this folder called home for us automatically and it gave it a condition uh, and this condition is is page home and in terms of how it's loading it's loading as an inline tag again we can change this to an external file and set it to asynchronous and that is actually what we get with the automatic folder that microthema created but below the fold you can see it's got the same condition only only display on this home page but load as an external file asynchronously 
Now we'll come back to the options you've got for customizing these conditions, uh, but first I'd just like to show you how it looks on the front end, how the CSS actually loads. So let's open up a new page on the front end in another tab. I'll just go over to that tab. And if we uh, inspect the page, so I'm going to inspect this element here, I'm going to go to the uh, style tag that where MicroThema has added to apply the CSS and you can see that we've got uh, just a regular style tag and it's called MicroThema Home Inline CSS and it's the three CSS selectors that we created for the image and the paragraph in this heading here. If we then scroll down a little bit we can see this uh, link here to our CSS file. Uh, which is called uh, homebelowfold.css and it has some uh, attributes here which means that it loaded asynchronously. So that means when the page first loaded this CSS file was not downloaded. Uh, the browser just continued reading the uh, page title and downloading all of the HTML content so it could render the page because this was not critical. It was for styling content that the user isn't going to see when they first load the page. It didn't need to load and so deferring it meant that we could optimize our page speed while still adding the styling that we want. And this is what Google means when it says inlining critical CSS and deferring non-critical CSS. And MicroThema does all this for you automatically without you having to think about it. Okay, so let's go back now and look at the options for customizing conditions. Actually, before I do that, I just want to show you that um, if we publish our settings, then view the site front end in another browser, so this is someone who's logged out, and I'll just bring that over here, and then if we inspect the CSS, then we can see that uh, MicroTeam actually minifies the CSS, so for regular site users, um, MicroTeam will minify the CSS it generates, but when you're logged in as an administrator, as you always are when you're using MicroThema, then uh, as you saw in the regular Chrome tab, uh, that the code was not minified and it had comments so you could easily connect the CSS code that you're looking at back to the MicroThema interface because the, the comments shows the folder and the name of the selector. Okay, so now let's just take a really quick look at how you customize the conditions that MicroThema generates for these folders to make them apply to one page or uh, let's increase that to make it apply to multiple pages. So here we've got our condition is page home. We can add another condition uh, by using this plus button here. We can choose to include or exclude. Um, we're going to keep the default include option here and I'm just going to choose uh, another page, let's say the testimonials page. I'm going to say so is page um, home and I'm going to use or. And uh, you can use and. And is often used when you're excluding things. You might say not this and not this or when you're including is often the case. That's not entirely true all the time but that's why MicroThema makes one button green or another button green depending on which option you've got here. So if I save that, uh, MicroThema will just do a quick check and say, yeah, I've understood that you've got two statements here uh, and we're on the home page and so this, is, this means this folder is going to apply to the current page. So um, if I just change this, this paragraph uh, selector here, if I just change this to something very broad that just targets all paragraphs because that um, Currently it was only targeting a, a post that was in this box, related to this box here. But to see if this now does apply, it was a testimonials page, wasn't it? Um, then yes, you can see that now all paragraphs are italic. And if we just remove this style, you can see that they're then all, well, they've all gone back to normal. And because we're unlikely to actually apply styling to all paragraphs across the whole site, or even across two pages, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this selector now. So we just saw that we used the drop down menu to create our own uh, condition. There's also a reference list here of all of the functions you can use if you're writing uh, these conditions yourself and you can use this um, button here to copy something um, and if you click on one of these it will take you, so these are WordPress functions at the top here, if you click on this it will take you to the WordPress documentation for that function uh, and if you click on one of these it will take you to the MicroThema page which has a few more examples about what kind of conditions you can use but you can go ahead and copy this and then say paste it in here say or that and there's actually another video that I've made which goes into this kind of stuff in a little bit more detail. So you can find that on the docs as well. It's worth pointing out that MicroThema adds zero database queries to your site front end. So it's very lightweight in that respect. And also it has a feature where you can go ahead and uninstall MicroThema 
uh, uh, but still upload the changes, still apply your CSS that you've, uh, CSS edits that you've made with Microthema. And you do that just by, you've got two options. You can just copy this code to your themes functions.php file, or you can download a plugin, which is basically just this code, but in plugin form. And that's useful if you use um, something like Oxygen Builder, which just disables the theme and the themes functions file completely. Um, or you're just not very technical editing uh, PHP files and you want some system. And, and what this does is it just loads the same file that Microthema loads when it's um, adding the CSS assets like we saw on the front end where it was adding some inline CSS or some asynchronous CSS. And so it just runs all of that without you having to keep Microthema installed. Now it's fine to keep Microthema installed. Um, it's not going to slow down your site, but obviously everyone says that and so you Using this method, you don't have to take my word for it. You can, especially if you know a bit of PHP, you can just um, check the file as well and see what it's doing. And uh, another reason that people un like to uninstall Microthema before giving the site to a client is just to protect the client from accidentally making uh, design changes that might break the layout or not be consistent with uh, brand guidelines, etc. So let's finish by just looking briefly at uh, how we switch between global styles and page specific styles. So say I were to create this uh, selector for this area here and Microthema by default has added it to the home folder. Now if I switch um, to, I want it to be global, I just use, I can use a shortcut here where I can say move the current selector to, and let's say this is the main menu, so I'll, I'll choose that option and then uh, I'll just give it a, a background color or something, or maybe I'll make this italic as well, uh, font style italic. And you can see that this is now in the, in the main menu folder. Now you can actually just drag uh, selectors between folders just as easily like this. And if it's just one folder, sometimes that might be easier. But you might not necessarily have this view that I've currently got here where I've got two folders showing all the time. So the default view um, for smallish screens is this view here where you, you access the folders separately here. And so this just saves you a bit of time. Uh, and then again, you say I want to target this uh, testimonials bit here and it, I'm still in the main menu it's just convenient to be able to switch back and you've got this move current selector option uh, which is enabled by default if I haven't if it's still in draft well I haven't saved the selector if I just click here then suddenly I'm back in the, the home view so you can really easily switch between global styles and page styles and if you sometimes uh, say target an element and uh, let's say just get this background color so it's easy to see um, and you suddenly realize, oh, actually, no, I'm, I'm in the home. I meant to go back to the global. This, uh, this checkbox here just gives you a, a convenient way of going, undoing what you've just done. And then now in the main menu folder, we've still got these two elements that are related to each other. The final thing to note about this auto folder functionality is that you, Microsoft only sorts selectors when it, when they're first created. Okay. So if you did want to, uh, swap this around, uh, so you had this, uh, the selector for this link here above the, the general selector for the menu. You can move them around. Microthema won't resort the whole folder every time you, you create a new selector. It's just when it's first created. So when I was saying you might want to opt out of this, you might find that it's not all or nothing. You, you use the auto folder functionality, but then you just do a bit of tweaking yourself. And it's still quite helpful for Microthema to split all of your CSS code into um, folders for each page. Even if you then end up loading these folders on other pages, you can just change the name of the folder and, and add the, uh, customize those conditions as we saw before. And I think that covers everything I want to talk about in this video, so thank you very much for watching.